hi, my name is Yelena Sinitsen and welcome to my channel Dream to Swim. So let's talk about this tuck position. So as you sit down on the ground, bring your heels all the way to your buttocks as close as possible, bringing your knees to your chest. Hold your knees to your chest with your hands. So it is very important to actually round your back and really tuck in your chin and hold it. If your flexibility does not allow you to bring your knees close to your chest, then I would suggest for you to bring your knees a little bit wider apart and still try to bring them in. And of course, tuck in your chest, bringing your heels all the way. And to practice this position, you can also try to balance with your feet off the ground. Or of course, keeping your knees together. Here. Yeah. And just hold it for a few seconds here. Okay. As you get a feel of this position on the ground, then you can move back into the pole. And now let's try to hold this tuck in position right here in the water. And for holding this position under water, I would suggest for you to use a nose plug and also goggles. We're just going to make everything much more comfortable. And since we are learning to get vertical for a vertical position head down, you will need a nose plug anyway. Hold your knees with your hands close to your chest, take your chin in and inhale. So for the next step, you might need to be maybe in chest deep water or maybe neck deep water because uh, you might hit your head on the bottom. So the next step is to hold your tuck in position without holding your knees with your hands, right? So now your hands are just going to float and your knees and your chin are going to be tucked in as you hold your breath underwater. Is it chin in and take a deep breath in. Very nice. Okay. Okay, so now let's watch what we're going to do next. but we'll jump off the ground a little bit to allow the gravity to bring you a little bit underwater. And after that, we're going to turn back. Let's watch it. How cool was that? Now let's learn how to do it. In order to turn backwards, you need to tuck in into this very, very tight ball and you need to bring your arms all the way around and forward. So you will make big, big circles with your arms. Please keep in mind that you need to be warmed up for the next set of exercises because your shoulders will have to work a lot. So your palms are facing down on the way down. Then you're cutting through the water. And then when your arms are back, your palms are going to face up and pull the water again. 
right? So your palms, your arms are working through the whole movement. Working through the whole movement. It's pulling the water here. It's cutting the water on the bottom. And then it's pulling the water up. And let's look at it underwater. tuck-in position and remember in order to turn backwards you will need you need it to tuck in and then bring your arms all the way around and forward now of course in order to turn forward we have to do the opposite right so now the arms will have to go all the way around right all the way around and back they're pulling the water here and they're pulling the water here and they're cutting the water at the top pulling the water let's do it so remember jump in allow the gravity bring you down and then start moving your arms all the way back after you get into a tuck-in position Okay, and let's look at it under the water. time tucking the chin in right so the back has to be rounded right rounded I find that especially uh, during the turn forward uh, it is very difficult for some reason for people to keep the chin in right and people try to do something like this and that with a flat straight back with your chin up, it is going to be very, very difficult to turn. And this is what I'm talking about. If you struggle with this, of course it is possible. If you know what to do with your arms, it is possible to turn with your back straight. However, if you're a beginner, it is going to be very difficult. So please do make sure that your chin is tucked in and your knees are in too. And that is going to make everything much easier. So once again, keep 
practicing this move because only practice makes everything perfect. Now, the next step is to learn how to turn halfway and hold yourself with your head down and your feet up. So let's learn it. And for the next step, you definitely need to learn how to do sculling. So if you have not mastered sculling yet, you do need to go back to my videos and I will add a link in the description. For this, you definitely need your nose blow. goggles for this because you do need to know or see where or when you turn upside down. So another thing, after you turn upside down and you hold yourself with sculling, you do need to change this tuck-in position. You will keep your knees in but you will straighten your back and then that will help you to keep you nice and balanced, right? And of course your hands are going to help you too. If you found it helpful, share it, comment. I love reading your comments and so far I have answered all of them. So please comment. I do appreciate it. And of course suggest what is it that you would like for me to teach you.